The wait for an end to Australia's political limbo is set to stretch well into its second week. The key crossbench independents won't resume talks in Canberra with Julia Gillard or Tony Abbott until next week. And in the meantime, the Prime Minister is switching her attention to other players. She's spoken to the Greens today and will meet Tasmanian independent Andrew Wilkie tomorrow. And to top it all off, Victorian Steve Fielding is trying to position himself in the drama with threats to undermine a Gillard government from his crossbench seat in the Senate. From Canberra, Susan MacDonald reports. He's made clear his preference to side with Labor, but Julia Gillard isn't treating the Greens' Adam Bant's support as a done deal. The uh, feeling today was very, very constructive with the Prime Minister and the Treasurer. It's the second time they've met since the election, but Bob Brown insists he remains open to negotiating with the coalition and he's stressed there's been no offer of a seat at the Gillard cabinet table. I think it would be a very good idea. It's open to them, but we are not going to uh, be the ones who uh, put that on the line as a condition for the future of government. With all the focus on the lower house balance of power MPs, there's a lone Order. voice in the Senate who's Order. intent on making his Order. vote count too. And will the government commit to reversing this disgraceful funding decision. Family first, Steve Fielding appears to have lost his Victorian Senate seat, but he'll remain in Parliament until July next year. He's threatening to try to block legislation if Labor forms government. The issue at hand is not about blocking supply. The issue at hand is, is the Labor government worthy of a second term. But Senator Fielding wouldn't get a casting vote unless the coalition wanted to block supply and it's previously ruled that out. The negotiations to form a minority government will begin in earnest next week when the three country independents return to Canberra. They maintain there's no point talking until the final outcome of the election is clear. It looks increasingly likely Tony Abbott has picked up more seats than Labor. In the latest count, Labor and the Coalition have 72 seats each. The final seat in doubt is Brisbane, where the Coalition is in front. Susan MacDonald, ABC News, Canberra.